Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you guys. In this one, we are going to be seeing what this special person thinks and feels about you. So whoever resonates with this, whoever feels like fits this description is going to be um, probably the person we're dealing with. This kind of really tends to gravitate towards romance, I'm going to be honest with you. So let's see. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of the Pisces Club. I can't tell you how much I love you. But I think you probably have an idea by now <laughs> if you are subscribers. If you're not yet subscribers and you're not yet a part of the Pisces Club, all you need to do is click on that subscribe button and you're gonna make someone really happy today. Me. <laughs> Okay, universe, how should we do this reading? What does this person think of Pisces? Let's do a Celtic cross. The Two of Cups was popping out there. Celtic cross, all cards upright. What does the special person feel and think about Pisces right now? Seven of Wands. Crossed by the Akashic Records. In the recent past, the Six of Wands. In your mindset, the Strength. In your future, Three of Crystals. Well, actually, that would be their mindset, not your mindset. That would be theirs. Because this is about them, right? But the universe wants them to know would be the Nine of Wands, Four of Swords, Six of Crystals or Pentacles, two cards coming up in this particular spot, Star Seed and the Ace of Wands, and then as the most likely outcome we've got two cards, two, Nine of Cups, Five of Crystals. Alrighty, Pisces. I can already tell that this person has a little bit of fear in regards to you and what could potentially happen with you. If this is a romantic interest, it seems like they are very interested in you, Pisces, so much so that they're a little bit afraid that, you know, if they come forward with their feelings or their thoughts, you know, it could go very well or it could go, you know, really bad. So. It seems like they're thinking about this at this time. Right now, they may be having a rather passive attitude towards you, Pisces. Maybe they're allowing things to flow naturally, to unfold very slow. Um, I'm getting a little bit of the Knight of Pentacles energy here, but this is actually the Four of Swords. They may be focusing on their well-being. They may be focusing on really focusing on this situation being perceived in their mind as if it happens great and if it doesn't that's fine it's like they're really working on this mindset they really want to be on their side this time around maybe this person has been uh dating recently or maybe this person um just don't want to sabotage their own energy. They feel like they're in a good space right now. Like they are in a good place. And they don't want to like shoot themselves in the foot by giving this too much power over them or too much energy. They don't want to get their hopes up, it seems. They just want things to flow naturally and see where this goes. Okay? At this time, they may be a little bit defensive in regards to their resources, maybe their money, their time, their energy. Maybe right now this person sees you also as someone who is doing things in the world, who's doing things with their life. And it seems like they want to keep a balance in which maybe they are not distracting you and you are not distracting them. It seems um, like they actually find a lot of admiration in you, Pisces. It's like they admire you and they want to impress you and they know that to do that, um, they have to keep going and they have to keep doing what they need to do. 
But they're looking at the horizon and they're seeing a new dawn. They're seeing the sun coming out. And this could mean that they see potential with you. But it scares them is what I'm getting. It's all or nothing kind of energy. And the challenge here is that this person perceives your connection as something very deep. Something that, you know, goes all the way back to past lives. Something that goes all the way back to the Akashic Records here. You know, like there's a lot of stored memories in the Akashic Records about you guys being together in some shape or form. And they sort of know this, but they're not aware of the details. They're maybe not aware of the extent of this. I feel like some of them, if this is romantic, some of them could be wondering like if this is something that's meant to be, if this is sort of like destined. In the recent past, this person has experienced some kind of success, perhaps or victory in regards to you. So maybe um, something went their way, something sort of happened that made them feel very happy, very excited, very um, kind of like in the right place at the right time. This person also has been uh, experiencing a lot of personal victories in their life that have nothing to do with you. And they also, in the recent past, like maybe weeks, months, years, depending on the nature of the connection that you have with this person, they have perceived you, Pisces, as someone who's very victorious. In the near future, they seem to want to create something with you, Pisces, even on a professional basis. Like, they see themselves working with you, maybe. They see themselves collaborating in some way. If this does not make sense in regards to work for you, this could be then building something together, building a home, building a long-term relationship, building something that feels very successful but takes work. This person is not afraid of the work. This person is not afraid of doing what they have to do to make this happen. But right now, it seems like they are in a very passive energy. Like, they don't want to jump the gun. They don't want to go faster than it's, you know, faster. They don't want to get their hopes up and move too fast and then realize that this wasn't what they thought it was. You know what I mean? So they're trying to be very disciplined in their mind space. They're trying to be very strong in their mind space. Um, not giving in completely to this experience or connection just yet. Um, trying to really be disciplined with what they have to do, their responsibilities, having things in order, and not kind of like not throwing everything um, out the window because they're excited about the possibility of something with you. I feel like this is mostly romantic. In your surrounding space, you've got the Six of Crystals. So, you know, maybe this person has dealt with or is dealing with very abundant people. Maybe this person is receiving some kind of help financially. Maybe this person is offering help financially to those in need or those around them. Maybe this person would appreciate an equal give and take. We've got the Star Seed and the Ace of Wands, hopes and fears. This person wants to manifest something here. They could be wanting to manifest a very passionate new beginning, something that is very perhaps sexual in nature. Maybe they want to establish a sexual connection to you, or if that doesn't make sense, it could be um, that this person wants to establish a new project or passion project, something that is very exciting to them. It's like they're wishing to manifest it. They're creating it from their heart space. But they're also perhaps afraid that um, maybe they are creating something that they're not supposed to be creating. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone who's very magical, someone who's very um, aware of their manifestation power. So this person could be maybe doing some kind of like 
spell work, but not spell work though, like more like manifestation exercises with you in mind. They want to manifest you, Pisces, and at the same time, it's like within them, there's this little voice saying like, are you sure you want to move energy this way? Like, are you sure this is the right thing to manifest? And they're like, yeah. But they're also a little bit afraid, like, what if I am pushing it? Or what if I am um, forcing something that is not supposed to be forced here? But they definitely want something with you, Pisces. I feel like there's a group of you that are dealing with something more kind of like professional in nature. Um, they want to create and build with you. Others of you are dealing more of a kind of like a romantic sexual connection here. But I feel like the messages are sort of merged. So even if it's a romantic thing, they seem to want to build with you anyway. And even if it's a, a work thing, they seem to want to connect with you anyway. With the Nine of Wands here, this is what the universe wants them to know. The universe wants them to not give up on this. The universe wants them to keep going. Maybe you have been on a journey with this person already in some way. Maybe it hasn't been easy at times. But the universe is telling you, you know, don't give up on this. However, this person is definitely afraid. They know that this could be, this could go very well or this could go very poorly. Because you have very opposing energies here. The Nine of Cups is an energy of emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy, feeling proud of themselves, feeling uh, proud of everything that they have accomplished. Maybe some of them even feel proud of you and everything that you have accomplished, okay? But at the same time, the Five of Pentacles is showing up here. This is a card of feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. Maybe this person is afraid that you're going to leave them out in the cold, that maybe you're going to abandon them. Maybe this person is afraid that if worse comes to worse, they're going to have to abandon you. And this is something that they don't want. But they know that it's like, it could go really well and be absolutely amazing. And you can like build something together fast because we have a cheetah there. Or, um, you know, this could go sideways. So they, they're not, they're trying not to invest all of their energy into this right now. Because they know that there is potential for it to not work. Maybe some of you guys have had a connection with someone, with this person, um, in the past. And maybe you've tried to work things, but they haven't. They have gone south, maybe. This could be one of those X's that appear in Mercury Retrograde kind of thing, you know. Um, so they're like, you know, there is a big chance that this might not work. So they don't want to, like pause their entire life, throw everything out the window to pursue this because they know that there is a big chance that, you know, things could go south. It's a risk, definitely. They, they perceive it as a risk. What additional messages are coming through? What is this person thinking and feeling about Pisces? The moon. They definitely don't know exactly what's going on. They definitely feel like they are lacking information. They don't know how you feel about them. They're not exactly sure how they feel about you. The moon is a card of mystery. They wonder, Pisces, if you have secrets. They wonder if maybe you are entertaining other people. They wonder about your intentions, definitely. They really do. And we have a very prominent full moon here. And I feel like by the time Halloween comes, the full moon in Taurus, which is going to be super strong it's a it's a blue moon so it's the second full moon in one month period which is something that doesn't happen very often you've heard that saying once in a blue moon and this is a card of like not a card this is a moment of a lot of opportunity for a one once in a lifetime kind of thing and this person is not really sure how they are if they're perceiving the situation correctly, they're confused. But by the time Halloween comes, I think that there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be cleared up for the both of you. All right. Um, I'm going to be reading an additional message from the Halloween deck just because it's October, just because it's Halloween. This may 
have something to do with um, the reading itself. Like it may apply to what we are dealing with already, but it may not. You know, it may be just a very independent, sweet little message for you, Pisces. Okay. So this is um, a card from the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. I'm loving this deck for October. It's really, really cool. We're just going to be pulling one message unless there's more than one that wants to come out. Universe, what is the appropriate message for this reading with this deck? If there's any way to know what this person, special person, feels and thinks about Pisces through this deck, please bring in that message. Alright. Death. The eternal cycle begins here. Okay, so this person may perceive you as a connection that is very spiritual in nature. This person may perceive you as someone important. Someone who can definitely mark a, a before and after phase of their life. The eternal cycle begins here. Let's see what this card has to say. Let's honor the channeling of Stacy DeMarco by reading the message exactly as it is, okay? Here we go. Death. This is not the end, though it may pass in the night. I get to do my time over, although you may get a fright. <laughs> Many pagans believe that death was the beginning of a cycle of life. When you think about it, most people consider the act of birth to be the beginning of the life cycle. We are born, we live, and then we die. And depending on your beliefs, you may get to go around again. Instead, pagan cultures see death as the beginning of a whole new adventure. The place where your soul gets to choose where it incarnates, why and what it wants to experience. Then, and only then, does it get born into a body that lives and eventually dies before returning to write a new cycle. Halloween is a celebration of death as a part of life. As humans, our conscious beings, we know about death and many are afraid and uncomfortable about it. Halloween illuminates the universal truth that all of us will die. Just as all of us were born, so to be fearful of that and the process is fairly pointless. Halloween asks us instead to make friends with death, just as we seem as friendly just as we seem friendly with birth, and to not allow our fears and grief to bring uh, to bring us <laughs> unnecessary pain. Sorry, guys. Do not be afraid if you pull the death card, as it simply means that something is falling away, or will do so. So you can begin strongly afresh. There is a great power in this clearing. If you pull this card at Halloween, particularly, the message is stronger still and you should actively celebrate this new beginning all right so pisces this person may be perceiving this connection as something that is um gonna be very relevant in their lives something that is starting something that is important and they see kind of like this new cycle opening up that might be very successful okay so if this is a connection that has gone over and over and over this person is feeling like maybe this time around it is going to work, okay? Pisces, this is what I have for you, my beautiful fishies. Thank you so much for your patience this weekend. Thank you so much for being a part of this marathon. If by any chance you guys are not yet part of the channel, I invite you to join if you're a Pisces um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or a cross watcher with a important Pisces in their mind, okay? Um, if you ever want to say thank you for these readings, you can join the channel by clicking on the join button and becoming an active member, maybe donating a dollar, two dollars, whatever resonates with you on a monthly basis. Um, if you would like to donate, you know, more or you would like to do like a one-time donation, you can do so through the PayPal link. It's definitely not necessary, guys. Don't feel in any way, um, pressured to do so. It's really not necessary. But if you ever want to say thanks, that is a way you can do so, okay? My fishies, I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, my loves.